Hey everybody, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to use soft tissue mobilization for the adductor group. Remember there's five groin muscles, pectineus, brevis, longus, magnus, and gracilis. They're grouped into short and long, which are the flexor adductors, the long ones, or excuse me, the short ones. And then the long ones, which are extensors, they kick the leg back and draw it in. So make sure to know which ones you're talking about. It should be on your worksheet or, again, if you're working with a movement specialist, they'll tell you which ones to work on. But you're going to use the ball and you're going to place it on the inside on either the short or the long to define the structure. You just need to find the one that bulges out closest to the pubic bone, that tendon. That's the longest and it defines the short ones from the long ones. So as long as you know which ones you're targeting. Now you're going to use the ball and use pressure inhibition. So I'm pressing into the muscle tensioning the tendon, tendon will create a reflex inhibition once it's pressured long enough and then you're going to go into a stretch. I'm going to do this on a table so the leg's going to come out slightly. You want it to be partially flexed and softened. So you always start with the muscle in a flexed state. So you can see I'm push, pushing the leg down into that ball. If I wanted to stretch it through external rotation, I can kick it off the table. If you have access to a table or a coffee table, sometimes a bed, that'll do. It's squishy, so sometimes it doesn't give you the pressure that you need. But either way, try to find a way to do it. You can stick a book under the, the ball. Helps to give a little bit greater surface area so you can get on a bed and do it. But either way, I'm just sitting there and I'm tensioning the muscle with the ball. The ball eventually will, again, soften into the tissue, so it'll sink. It's going to feel a relaxation, just like with a percussion gun. And then once you feel that inhibition, that's a neural inhibition, the stretch resistance, that tensioning from the nervous system is going to let go, then we can start getting into the structure of the collagen. So what I'm going to do now is rock my hip under, pulling my pubic bone upward, but crunching under and squeezing my butt, and then I can ER rotate the femur. And as I do that, you're going to get a nice pin and stretch on that muscle. Now again, you don't want to stretch it to pain, just to that first spongy end cap range. It's going to tension the muscle up again, so your muscle reflex is going to kick in again. It's going to want to hold it. We're going to wait for that to relax. It'll sink in again, and then you can let it go a little bit deeper and actively stretch through the tissue bed. And there it is. So you can do that multiple successive times, two or three times. Really, the end goal is to do what? Increase the abduction. Sometimes IR rotation of these muscles are adaptively short or restrictive. And again, if you have questions on any of it, you can reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. There you go.